Hi, Facebook viewers. Have you ever wondered what the key performance indicators are in a practice? What makes a pra practice successful and how you can be the most profitable that you can? I am here today with Tammy Barker, who knows about everything there is to know about this subject. Um, Tammy has been a longtime member of the Dentrix team. She has uh, created the practice d advisor report that is found within Dentrix, and she also created the daily huddle. Uh, that helps practices manage their daily operations. She has also written a white paper that is called Master the Metrics That Matter, uh, Knowing the KPIs That Are in Your Practice. And uh, I'm glad that you were able to join us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. When we, when we wrote the, the white paper about Master the Metrics, one of the things that we wanted to do is really focus in on what are the key numbers to measure in a practice, and more importantly, why they're so important. Um, 15 years ago, as long as there was enough money in the checking account at the end of the month, it was double thumbs up, things were good. And as the competitive nature in dentistry has, the lands landscape has changed as well as um, insurance reimbursements, we have to do more with less today. And so understanding those numbers and how they all correlate is key. So. You know, looking at the active patient base and how many patients are actually active, defined as in the practice in the last 18 months. What percent of patients are in hygiene? Um, what percent of your total practice production is coming from hygiene um, versus doctor production? And why those numbers are so important. Um, 75 to 85% of a doctor's production actually comes because the patient flows through the hygiene chair. That's where we do the necessary exam and x-rays. And so really measuring those and separating them we found to be very helpful for dentists to really understand the overall health of your practice. If you think about it, every year we go to, we, we get an annual physical and your practice is no different. What are those key numbers and metrics that measure the overall health of your practice? So uh, if a practice isn't paying attention to those numbers, what does it mean for them? What, uh, what are the problems they can face? There can be lots of challenges and opportunities, I would say, within a dental practice. But when I see um, when I see turnover in an office, or when I see like there's we have more to do than we have time, the two areas that I see hurt the most are our accounts receivable, our over 90, our cash flow, and our continuing care. So our continuing care is what is the lifeblood of the practice. And if we have patients start slipping through the cracks with continuing care, that can really hurt our practice. So the two areas that I see when we're short staffed um, and experiencing turnover is cash flow and continuing care. And if you think about it, Jeff, they're really linked together, right? Continuing care and patients staying active in our hygiene um, is where we can help our patients the most, where we can do the necessary exam and x-rays and help make sure that our patients are in good oral health. So, is, so you're saying that continuing care is the most critical problem that you run into with, with, a, with a dental office or filling a schedule? What elements are the, are the things that are the biggest challenges that office faces? The number one concern today in dental practices, when I, when I speak to any dental practice, I'll ask them, what's your top concern? And the number one concern is holes in the schedule. And you know the irony is even though we have um, postcards and emails and text messages and phone calls, patients are no showing and canceling at higher rates than ever before. And it, it seems kind of counterproductive or contrary to what we would believe would happen because we have more reminder services. But ask yourself this, Jeff, are you less busy today than you were 10 years ago? No, I am not. Right. <laughs> and our patients aren't any different, right? So we have to educate our patients on that it's so much more than just pearly whites. It's so much more than just a cleaning and really linking oral health with overall systemic health. Um, and, and elevating the priority in the patient's schedule that they will keep that hygiene appointment. So a practice that is experiencing holes in the schedule, among other things, how do they fix that? I mean, what do they, what do, they do to fill those holes either on a daily or a weekly basis? What's the best approach? 
One of the best ways to uh, approach that is have a daily huddle. On, on your daily huddle, we want to look at who's coming in for hygiene that maybe has unscheduled treatment plan. And best case scenario is if you have a hole in doctor's schedule, we can take care of that patient same visit. The patient doesn't have a lot of time. We already know that we're fighting for a finite number of hours in a day. If we can take care of our patients and do same day dentistry um, and take care of our patients in, in hygiene and restorative at the same visit, what an impact that makes and how much easier we make that for our patients. So the daily huddle is where you would start? The daily huddle is where I would start. It's the most valuable 10 to 15 minutes any practice could spend and it's the one area that I see constantly get cut. They say we don't have time or the doctor doesn't show up or we start at different start times. You, it's the most important 10 to 15 minutes of your day. So you also created the practice advisor report. Right. How does that impact and benefit a practice? Having a key report that you can measure all of your key numbers on a single report instead of having to run a bunch of different reports and gather numbers, I wanted to give the dentist, the owner, one report that would kind of measure the overall health, the checkup per se, of the practice. And, and those are what you call the KPIs? Absolutely. The key performance indicators. What are those key numbers and metrics that measure the overall health of your business? Okay. So you would recommend to any practice that is using Dentrix right now run a, a, a report to find out what those numbers are. When they look at those numbers, though, are they easy to interpret or do they need to do something more to interpret those numbers? Sometimes if you, if you look at a report and you're like, I don't know if that number is good or bad, of course you don't. Because if, if you went to school for dentistry, you didn't necessarily evaluate all the numbers and metrics. Unless you did like a dual major and you're, you're a, a, a finance and a guru person um, when it comes to numbers and spreadsheets. But really understanding you know, the difference between um, understanding where, how the numbers are linked together. Mm -hmm. so, you know, we had talked about 75 to 85 percent of doctors' production comes because they flow through hygiene, but also what percent of patients before they leave the practice schedule their next hygiene appointment is key as well. Okay. Uh, uh, before we wrap up, is there anything else you would want to tell uh, dental practices about either the daily huddle or the practice advisor report um, as we wrap up here? Sometimes you have to slow down and invest in those key areas that the outcome is exponential. And so I would challenge our listeners that if you've tried a daily huddle before and it didn't work, I would challenge you to rethink it. Now is the time. The timing could not be more ripe than today to really invest in those key conversations when you're face to face, eye to eye, when the patient's there to talk about the unscheduled treatment, to talk about the unpaid balance, to talk about um, their communication preference. Really capitalizing on every patient that's coming in what are those key conversations that we need to have while the patient's physically in our practice? Great. Well, thanks. I appreciate you taking the time Absolutely. out of your busy schedule here at, at uh, BDC. And thanks to you. Have a great day. Thank you.